SpaceX has planned to launch the giant monster Starship into orbit at the end of August. This eagerly awaited event has captured the attention of rocket enthusiasts for the last four months. With the technological advancements achieved at Starbase, SpaceX has demonstrated the readiness of Starship for the upcoming launch. However, the largest problem still remains the FAA. The agency just declared no Starship launch anytime soon, as SpaceX's investigations have yet to be completed. So, when can Starship fly? Stay tuned as we dive into these questions and more in this episode of Alpha Tech. SpaceX's journey is characterized by a determined resolve to challenge established norms and redefine the trajectory of space exploration. Right from its inception, the company confronted a cloud of skepticism looming over its grand ambitions. Both industry veterans and dissenting voices doubted the feasibility of SpaceX's objectives. This skepticism was amplified when the company introduced the groundbreaking Falcon rocket series, which many viewed as overly ambitious, if not unattainable. Yet over time, SpaceX demonstrated to the world its persistence and successful innovation. The Falcon family has evolved to become SpaceX's workhorse, achieving a majority of successful launches and even serving as the sole spacecraft capable of transporting astronauts to the ISS. The ambitions of SpaceX didn't stop there either. They introduced the Starship, a symbol of revolutionary progress in the space industry, demonstrating their commitment to pushing boundaries. With a diameter of approximately 9 meters and soaring impressively to a height of 120 meters, Starship boasts an unparalleled thrust capability, surpassing even historic rockets like the Apollo-era Saturn V. The pinnacle of SpaceX's efforts arrived on April 20th, 2023, with the first Starship launch. While the test concluded with an explosion that echoed throughout the space community, it remained a successful debut, acknowledged by all rocket enthusiasts. Truth be told, considering the robust technological developments and manufacturing efficiency of Starship, they're well poised to achieve the goal of frequent launches. However, beyond the technical excellence of the rocket, a paramount responsibility lies in the ethical and legal realms. This is the reality that SpaceX must face. Despite past successes and technical prowess in the realm of rockets, the mid-air explosion of Starship has made its future launches more challenging than ever before, as this incident triggered a comprehensive evaluation of what went wrong and ignited heightened scrutiny from the FAA. After over three months of data collection and testing, SpaceX recently submitted the final mishap report to the FAA, marking a significant step toward the private company's aim of conducting future launches from the site. This report, which hasn't been made public, is expected to detail what happened when the giant rocket cleared the launch pad at Boca Chica and climbed 24 miles before self-destructing over the Gulf of Mexico. It should identify corrective actions SpaceX wants to take to ensure future launches don't endanger public safety. The FAA, which is overseeing investigations of the launch that blasted concrete and metal from the launch site across 385 acres, touched off wildfires, and kicked up plumes of pulverized concrete and sand that were carried more than six miles, has grounded Starship until investigations are complete. It's expected to review the report and provide SpaceX with a to-do list of measures needed to get approval for another liftoff. When a final report's approved, it'll identify the corrective action SpaceX must take, the FAA said in an emailed response. Separately, SpaceX must modify its license to incorporate those actions before reviewing authorization to launch again. But the FAA has not yet determined when their evaluation process will be completed. This could indeed result in a delay for the upcoming Starship launch, as historically, the FAA has specialized in delaying launch licenses for SpaceX, thereby occasionally generating tension and complexity. The licensing delays from the FAA for Falcon 1's third launch in 2008 presented significant challenges for SpaceX. Besides, the FAA often imposes strict regulations and safety measures for SpaceX to adhere to, which at times result in delays in launches and in the advancement of Starship before its debut. They've granted preliminary approval to Starship, but require SpaceX to complete 75 steps for environmental protection. SpaceX will have to shield its artificial light to prevent turtles from nesting on nearby beaches, deter ospreys from nesting on site, and hire a biologist to monitor the impact on flora and fauna from launches and other activities. 
To appease potential vacationers in the area, SpaceX has also agreed not to launch rockets during federal and Texas holiday weekends. SpaceX's launches require closures of access roads to public beaches in the vicinity. There were also more unusual demands made of SpaceX, including that it makes annual 5,000 payments to an adopt an ocelot fund and pay for the installation of placards in the area detailing the local history of the Mexican-American and Civil Wars. In addition to these mitigation measures, SpaceX has also significantly scaled back the planned facilities at its Boca Chica site. SpaceX hoped that the reduced footprint of the site would enable the company to avoid a full-blown environmental impact statement, or EIS. That's no severe form of the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA review. The documents themselves often run hundreds of pages. They take four and a half years to complete on average, and run over 600 pages. Some statements for large and complex projects like highways or power transmission lines can take over a decade. If you're a Starship enthusiast, you'll likely recall the FAA's unsatisfactory response following the conclusion of the test flight of the spacecraft prototype SN8. This incident also led to delays and more stringent control over subsequent Starship tests. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, had to publicly express his disappointment on social media. Unlike its aircraft division, which is fine, the FAA Space Division has a fundamentally broken regulatory structure. Their rules are meant for a handful of expendable launches per year from a few government facilities. Under those rules, humanity will never get to Mars. A few hours before the SN8 Starship test, while Musk was in Boca Chica securing approval for the FAA license that SpaceX ultimately violated, he was asked in a virtual interview what role government should play in regulating innovation. Musk replied, A lot of the time, the best thing government can do is just get out of the way. Violation of licenses and subsequent approval procedures have escalated tensions between SpaceX and the world's largest transportation agency. For years, Musk and others in the space industry have bemoaned the age-old U.S. regulatory framework for launch licensing as innovation and competition in space skyrockets. In response, the U.S. Department of Transportation, which delegates its oversight duties to the FAA, unveiled new streamlined launch licensing regulations. However, after that time, the FAA still postponed environmental assessments for Starship launches up to five times. These events highlight the complex landscape in which SpaceX operates, where technical complexities must be harmonized with safe regulatory demands. That's why right after the explosion, SpaceX had to swiftly showcase its resilience by addressing the issues head on. On the trajectory of improvement, SpaceX has achieved significant progress in repairing and upgrading the Starship launch pad at the company's Starbase facility in South Texas. These repairs have been successfully tested during a trial launch of the Super Heavy booster of the Starship on August 6th. The steel plate's functional improvements were clearly evident when compared to the previous Starship's test. Furthermore, SpaceX has completed an upgrade for the Super Heavy booster with a new hot staging system. This seemingly technical adjustment holds immense importance in ensuring the seamless transition between rocket stages during launch. Meticulously installed on the Super Heavy booster, the hot staging ring represents a pivotal milestone in the quest to enhance launch reliability. For the eagerly anticipated second launch of the Starship, SpaceX has made strategic choices in the selection of its assets. Booster 9 and Ship 25 have been meticulously chosen, each bringing unique strengths to the endeavor. Booster 9's proven engine performance and stability during testing, combined with Ship 25's advanced thermal protection systems and structural integrity, set the stage for a promising launch attempt. Hopefully, in the future, the FAA will quickly approve Starship launches. The FAA's approval is not only about enabling successful Starship orbital launches, but also contributes to creating favorable conditions for the development of the nation's space rocket events thereby reinforcing the United States' leading position in the global space arena. That's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments below because your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.